Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Our Yorkshire Farm star Amanda Owen has revealed that she and her husband Clive are not the romantic types in an interview shortly before the couple confirmed they are going through a rocky patch. The mother of 9, 47, and husband of 21 years Clive Owen, 66, released a joint statement last week saying like any marriage we have our stresses and strains but added they always wanted to show the reality of life on the farm through their TV shows and book deals. However, speaking in an interview before the revelation, Amanda spoke candidly on how, romance is not in her and Clive's makeup. When asked if she and her husband are romantic, the shepherdess told OK. Magazine. Don't think either of us are. I don't think it's in our makeup. The shepherdess went on to reveal what she believes to be the secret to her 21-year marriage. Everything we do is interchangeable, she said. Clive will serve afternoon tea and change nappies, I'll share ship and so bolese asterisco asterisco te. It doesn't matter who does what, we're all on the same side. Amanda praised Clive for being a hands-on dad, adding that at certain times of year, it's all hands-on deck and all tasks on the farm are interchangeable. There's no one hat for any one person and they think that's a great life lesson. The mother of nine was also kissed on a comment she had previously made about never saying never to a being a tenth child. Speaking on whether that's still the case, she continued, Don't know. If anyone knows anything it's honestly that he have not got a plan. He plan for today and maybe tomorrow and that's where it stops. He think we should all give ourselves a bit of a break when it comes to parenting. As long as the kids are happy, well fed and washed. That will do. Last week, the couple's neighbors told Mail Online the pair had been living apart for months after she got caught up in the spotlight of her Channel 5 program. Amanda Owen's website The Yorkshire Shepherdess advertises a stunning stay in the Dallas in their holiday home. The Fierce, a six-bedroom farmhouse, looks out over five acres of meadows and pasture. It has two king-size rooms, one double, a single, a triple bunk and a single bunk. It is accessed by a private road between three gates and dates back to at least the 17th century. It has a number of original features, including stone flagged floors, behemoth ceilings, white washed walls and a traditional black Yorkshire range. It has a cozy living room in front of a roaring fire as well as a traditional farmhouse kitchen with a table for eight people. It also includes a microwave, fridge freezer and toaster, utility room with washer and tumble dryer and a TV in the living room with sound bar. But for visitors it has no phone connection, with guests at least to travel 15 minutes to Kirkby Stephen to get a connection. The cottage is not available to book during the coronavirus pandemic. A notice at the top of the advert says, hey, We are not taking bookings until further notice and visits to Raven Seat are postponed until spring. Mayor and Mrs. Owen also rent out a shepherd's hut on their land, which is near the farmier on their land. The website says, in a sheltered setting down by the river, it's your chance to enjoy the stunning Swaldale countryside in traditional style. Ita de des, on warm summer evenings, you can relax outside and enjoy the beautiful scenery, whiling away the evening with your toes in the river. If it's wet, windy and wild, retreat inside the hut and relax, you'll be toasty warm beside the wood burning stove. But again there is no Wi-Fi or internet access or phone signal in the area. And it is also off limits due to the pandemic. Amanda moved into their rental property down the road from Ravenseed Farm in Swaldale, where Clive has been staging in the farmhouse, B. Jagger said. The couple, known as the Kardashians of the countryside, are said to be battling to save their marriage after more than 21 years. Clive, who was married to another woman for 13 years, is understood to be desperate to repair their relationship and fears their marriage will end in divorce. It was fair that they had recently started living apart but their neighbors claim it was common knowledge months ago. This is despite the Yorkshire Shepherdess still plugging her new book about family life on TV shows. In a joint statement given to Mail Online, Amanda and Clive Owen said, hey, with the TV show and the books we've always aimed to show the reality of life on the farm, and just like any marriage we have our stresses and strains, coupled with all the complexities of what we do on the farm and bringing up nine kids. We're a normal family, and we've never said our marriage is perfect. The other day we're going through a rocky patch in their marriage. It's thought Amanda has moved into their holiday home The Fierce, which is at the top of Upper Swaldale, in a valley and surrounded by five acres of meadows and pasture. 
the six-bedroom cottage is accessed by a private road paint three gates and dates back to at least the 17th century. It has a number of original features, including stone flagged floors, behemoth ceilings, white washed walls and a traditional black Yorkshire range. The couple rent Ravensit Farm and its land from billionaire Robert Miller, who is the co-founder of the FS, duty-free shops, and is the father of Crown Princess Marie Chantal of Greece, Princess Alexandra von Furstenberg, and Pia Getty, the eight girls of the 1990s. Amanda met her husband in 1996 when he was already divorced with two children, after she arrived at his farm as a 21-year-old trainee shepherdess. Amanda grew up in a traditional three-bed house with her parents and one sibling in the large market town of Huddersfield. At 6 p.s. in, the blonde was encouraged to follow the same career path as her model mother, but she hated the clothes and makeup that she had to wear. She left her comfortable town life to work on farms around the country, but it's when she knocked on the door of Ravenseed Farm that she found her calling. Many of her children help out on the farm when they are not at school, or traveling to and from as the journey takes one and a half hours each way. In order to make a big family work they all need to toe the line. It's not about child labor, it's about pulling together, Amanda told the Daily Mail in an article in 2018, with the nearest shop so far away, and the risk during winter that they could be snowed in for weeks, the TV star buys food in bulk, and manages to feed her large family for just 130 libras a week. Their water is free, channeled from the stream on the moor, and they heat the house and water with a roaring fire, which burns every day no matter what the weather.